Hi guys, welcome back to a, another vlog. So this vlog is gonna be a little bit different. I am gonna be doing kind of like a get ready with me, travel with me back to New York. So this video is gonna be ending in New York, which is really crazy. But yes, I am going home for the holidays. Um, and I normally like to, you know, just get myself ready, like lashes, nails, pack. So I've already done packing because I am a crazy person and I pack like a week to two weeks in advance just to make sure that I know what can fit in my suitcase, what I can bring back, what I can still buy, what I can still not buy. So I like to pack in advance and that's basically done. But I can show you guys like um, what I'm going to be doing with my camera backpack. I showed it to you guys in a last vlog. I'm also going to be bringing that with me because I'm really trying to get more content maybe for Instagram in New York. Don't think per se I'm going to be doing that much vlogging but I really do want to vlog with my sisters definitely because we have such great chemistry and I want to like you know just showcase that. Today I have to get my nails done and right now it is like really early in the morning so I'm gonna start work. I want to like get work done and then be finished as well a little bit early and then I can get my nails done and just get my life ready because I am going to be leaving in about two days. As well, I wanted to use this video to kind of tell you the process of like how I get ready to fly as well as what I need to actually fly. So outside of getting like my nails and my lashes done, I still have to get a COVID test done. Um, I have to register myself, I think with the US USA Gov. Um, but I will let you guys know that when it's happening right now, it's just, today is just going to be nails and maybe showing you guys what's in my camera bag. But yeah, I'm excited and I really hope on this vlog I can bring you guys with me in the airport and show you guys. I know some people are interested like how it is traveling during COVID, especially now with this new strain. So yeah, I'll show you guys everything. So guys, nails are finished. You guys should have seen it. I wanted to do something natural and just relax and also short because I won't be doing it at all when I'm in New York. So yes, I am all finished. I'm gonna go see if I can pick up some Jamaican food. My skin is just looking so, so oily. But yes, I'm gonna see if I can go pick up some Jamaican food. I am so hungry, um, but yeah, I'll see you guys a little bit later. Hi guys, so it's a little bit later. I kind of wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be putting in like my main backpack. So I'm not going to be bringing a handbag or anything. My backpack is going to be everything. And I'm just looking at my nails and I just feel so happy to have nails again. Ugh, my nails were disgusting, but I didn't want to get them done because I was waiting for it to get a little bit closer to when I needed to fly off. So yeah, before I even start with my camera bag, I had a random package come in the mail today. And I was like, what is this for? I also had to pay like custom tax on it um, and I was like what is this so I picked it up and I totally forgot that I ordered these heels I'm thinking about bringing them to New York they are these chocolate heels I think these are just so so beautiful and they look like this and if you guys already don't know my birthday is going to be over the holidays so I'm thinking about bringing these to wear for my birthday um, but yeah I was influenced by an Instagrammer to get this um, and it was not expensive. This is the backpack that I'm going to be bringing with me to New York. You guys should have seen it in my last vlog. It's already a little bit stuffed as you can see. Normally it's supposed to be able to go to this bottom clip but because I have stuff in there it can't click on the bottom anymore. Let me just show you guys what is in here and then I can move on to what I actually need for my flight. So I always like to bring with me a reading book because you guys know long flights, eight hour flights, layovers, you always need something to occupy your time and I don't always like to heavily rely on electronics because battery. So I prefer to just bring a book and this is the current book that I'm reading. This is The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. It's really, really good, but I don't know, these days I'm just reading really slow. I'm normally a fast reader, but I'm reading slow. So I'm still like in the first quarter of this book. 
so I'm gonna be bringing that so I can read. Um, I do have a layover in Paris, so I don't think I'll be reading on my layover. I'm gonna be doing some duty-free shopping, but when I'm on the plane, definitely I'm gonna be doing some reading. I ordered some stuff a while ago from lookfantastic.de, and this was like in their free winter box. So I got this case. It was originally filled with like little stuff, but I've used it specifically for my charger, my mouth, my phone charger, my digital passport. So that's where I store all of my videos. And then just a like adapter from my EU plug. No, from my US plug to, why am I bringing that? Okay, so yeah, I have my um, American plug for my MacBook. And then I brought an adapter. So this is in case when I'm coming back, if I need to charge my, um, laptop in the airport then i can so that's basically what's in here and then as well in there i just have my regular ziploc so in here i'm just bringing my moisturizer this is from ren this is their overnight recovery balm i'm also bringing a deodorant this is my native deodorant coconut and vanilla i'm bringing a travel size perfume and then another travel sized moisturizer because every time i go back to new york i always go with like nothing for myself really and i always get skincare so I have to use something from like my mom or sisters and point of the story is I always end up breaking out or my skin gets really crazy because I don't bring my own stuff so that's basically what's in this little flap here and then there is also another bit here I don't think there's anything in here yeah so there's also this part here I'm thinking about putting my wallet in there and then on the side of the bag there's a, another like zipper here so I think I'm just gonna put my phone there just so it's easy access as well on the side normally where the water goes i'm just gonna put my hat i need to also remember to pack a glove but i'm gonna put that in my coat so in this flap here um this is where i keep my passport and i keep my extra mask tissues and you guys know there is another zipper so it's easy access for my camera stuff so that's what i'm gonna pack right now So guys, that's about it for now with what I'm packing. I still need to add my tripod and my camera, but I am vlogging on the camera right now, so I can't put it in there. I still need to add in my AirPods, but I'm still using that, so I also can't put that in there. Um, after I add those two things, and my MacBook, I need to add my MacBook, and then we're officially finished. I want it to be a little bit lighter, you know, with my travels, I always overdo it with my backpacks, but this time I really didn't want that. So, like I mentioned, I also wanted to let you guys know about what I need to actually enter the US, and this goes for, currently at this time, December 2021, this goes for US um, citizens as well as non-US citizens. You're going to need a uh, attestation, which I had to fill out. There's also a, another doc that I had to fill out online. This is a tracking doc as well as I have to be fully vaccinated and I need a COVID test no later than 24 hours before my flight. So I will be taking one tomorrow. Actually, I already made my appointment and then this is just the attestation and they required that it is printed out, not digital. So so I was able to print that out and I have that ready to go with me. I think that's about everything else that I needed. Um, obviously my US passport. And I know people are gonna ask me this, but Sven is not coming with me and um, that's all I'll say about it. Don't feel like going deeper into it, but he's not gonna be able to make it this trip, maybe next year, unfortunately, but it's crazy times now anyways, so it is what it is. But yeah, that is basically it for my camera bag. I don't think I'll be taking much more. Tomorrow is going to be COVID day, so I have to get my test tomorrow, and I'm going to be doing my hair over, and as well, I'm gonna be getting my lashes done because I've been looking like a naked mole rat. I didn't wanna get my lash appointment any earlier. I wanted to get it like really close to 
when I was gonna go to New York so that I could hold that whole time that I'm there and just go to New York with a whole fresh vibe. And as you guys can see, like if you were with me in the summertime, you know that I like chop my hair, but my hair is actually growing. It is growing a lot and I think it's growing really fast. But yes, I do have to quickly jump on a call but I will see you guys tomorrow for the hair and lashes and um, COVID test. I'll try to bring you guys along for that. Hi guys, so it's actually the next day right now. I was supposed to take you guys with me to get my lashes done. They are already finished, but today has been just such a hectic, hectic, hectic day. It's like I prepared so far in advance to make sure that nothing's hectic, that everything's planned, that I have a list and everything's getting done. Nonetheless, everything is still really hectic. So I couldn't actually bring out my camera to get my lashes done, but they are finished. I did ask her to do a bit more volume this time just because I'm going to New York and I'm going to be in New York for a long time. And as soon as I get back, I'm going to go to her for a fill. Like I don't want to get a fill in the States. My lashes are done. My hair is still not done. I have to to do that I have to go in about 30 minutes now to get my COVID test so I'll bring the camera along for that so Sven and I actually have planned to have dinner this evening with some wine um, but we still have like a lot of stuff to do like I still have to somehow find time to do my hair right now I am making some mac and cheese with shrimps inside I've seen that somewhere and I've always wanted to make it so I'm gonna be making that today I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of what I've done so far with um, um, the shrimps but I've just defrosted it and chopped them up and seasoned them so I'm gonna have that like sit in the seasoning while I go get my COVID. Let me actually Oops. let me take you guys and show you guys what I've done so far. Okay lighting is crazy. So like I said I have just cut up the shrimp seasoned it and put some garlic onions in there and so that's just gonna sit in there while I go get my um, test COVID test so I have to get ready now for my test and then I'll see you guys later so guys that was literally like two minutes and I was early um, so I was able to get it. So let me actually explain because I think I didn't explain that properly. So for um, Delta, because I'm flying with Delta, they said that to enter the US, I only need a antigen test. So I guess that's like a Chanel test. Um, I Googled it and it's like a Chanel test. So that's free now in Germany. So that's what I got. Um, I didn't need to get a PCR test, which is normally what I am getting. And that cost me like 70 euros. So I'm happy that I can just get in um, with just a antigen test, antigen test and I just need to be fully vaccinated so that's done and it's gonna be available on the app in about 15-20 minutes so now I'm just gonna drive home and get ready to finish making the food I feel like I'm gonna faint because I have actually not eaten anything all day except a granola bar and I've just been doing a lot of like running around so I'm ready to go home but yeah that was the update and yeah I'll see you guys at home
Hi guys, so I am now ready to leave. It is like, what time is it? It's 7.26 right now. We should actually be leaving at 7.30. So I just wanted to come on here and show you quickly my outfit. So I'm just gonna be wearing this striped sweater. I also got it from a French boutique. And then these like leather, full leather um, joggers, which are from Mango. And then I'm just gonna be wearing my gray coat and a black scarf and that's about it. We need to head out right now, so I will see you guys potentially at the airport. Hopefully I can pull up my camera. If there's too much people, I won't. Mm -hmm. 